Forward thinking and creative genius were at their peak for two days at Queen's College as the Department of Education Georgetown hosted its annual Science, Mathematics and Technology Fair. What you have observed, being Chief Judge too, what are your impressions? I think we have really good quality projects, projects that are linked to the very heart of our problem as a country and as a globe. We have projects that look at renewable energy, projects that look at the improvement of our agricultural practices, using our waste for um, craft and so on. So these are projects that are very good coming from the young minds of our students. According to Petal Jetu, the National Science Coordinator of the Ministry of Education, the fair is one of many being hosted nationally as a lead-up to the National Science Fair. Ultimately, Jetu said the objective is to encourage students to use their learning in STEM to enhance traditional technologies, to solve problems and sustain modern societies and communities as Guyana works towards achieving one of the Sustainable Development Goals. One of their goals is to provide a good quality education for lifelong learning through focus on the learning process rather than just on the end result or examinations. Some students were more than enthusiastic to share their ideas with Nightly News. We decided to focus on wind energy because um, using normal energy, it wouldn't work so like well and you don't need to pay for wind. You get it free and you can use it to, and it spins and generates its own electricity from the wind. If tires are all over the place, they can breed mosquitoes because rubber is not a part of the soil. So we plan doing this to get rid of the mosquitoes. Guyana has a pollution problem and through a detailed survey we have come up with that plastic is the highest contributor to pollution. Therefore we came up with oil refinery process. Basically how the oil refinery works is that plastic is placed into a metal tin which is heated. The plastic melts and the gas released is carbon monoxide. It goes up through the pipes into the water which is at a low temperature. Now this water acts as a condenser. It condenses the carbon monoxide, hence forming oil. The project is all about preventing erosion by using the coconut oil. Preventing erosion by using the coconut ox mat to the placement to the in area embankment so that when it rains the the soil won't flow into the drains. I think science and technology are the vehicles for our own sustainable development. I think we have a lot of work to do. We've done a lot of work, but we have to continue working so that we can enhance the quality of our lives. Mondale Smith, HGP Nightly News.